So today I'm conducting a framing. Today I'm conducting a framing inspection for a customer in Ellicott City, and I'm in the basement. And something here that I'm a little concerned about. I thought I would share with my followers and audience or whoever might be interested. Okay. Um, so what I'm looking at here, this this piece of wood right here, uh, it's, it's cut off from what we call a micro lamb. It's it's there to carry some weight from coming from above. First thing I notice is at either end, there's nothing really holding it up. Um, there should be hangers there. Okay, so, um, and then on the opposite side of the stair, we see the same thing here, except that this end, the left side is sitting on top of this wall, and this end here has no hanger. So I'm going to call that out. Um, but the other concern I have here is this wall. This wall that this sits on, it's a load-bearing wall. We know that because there are two horizontal members are going across the top. It's called a um, double top plate that's required in load-bearing walls. And if I step back, <clears throat> you will see that this wall is this beam right here, this one, sits on the end of this wall. Okay, and that wall runs along the side of the stair and it carries the wall above. So this is a load-bearing wall. Um, the, whoever put this cable in, this tube, which is carrying, uh, I guess, video cable and internet cable, uh, they drill through the top of the load-bearing wall. Well, if you drill through the top of the load-bearing wall and you take up too much of it, as you can see here, this is a two by four, um, and they, They've drilled, they've taken out significant amount of the top of this wall, at least two thirds of it. So there really isn't that much left, maybe an uh, inch and a quarter uh, in what should be a three and a half inch thing. So you know, you've essentially weakened this, you weakened this top plate. Okay, and my concern is that if you look, this piece of wood back here, okay, which lines up right around here. Okay, is carrying the weight from these posts. So these posts are putting some weight down here, okay, right where they have weakened this top plate. All right, so something needs to be here to pick up that weight. When you remove the top of a load bearing wall like that, then over time it's possible because that weight is coming all the way down from the at least the first floor and possibly the second floor down this point here to this wall. And as you can see from this angle, without something directly below that, it, this piece of wood which has been weakened, the top of the wall which has been weakened, could slowly rotate over time. Uh, it could slowly fail. That's, that is possible without something directly below here. So what it might have to do is to remove this, to take this out, move it over, and then insert a, st a stud directly below this and bring it all the way down to the floor. And that would solve that problem. Um, shouldn't affect this cable that much. They could just move the cable over, move the cable over to the side, put that stud in right here, bring it all the way up, and have it directly below that. That way it ensures that there's no movement at that location. And then uh, also put in the missing joists, putting the missing hangers to secure that properly. So I'm gonna call this out because um, I'm a little uncomfortable with the way that that's worked out. Hope all of that made sense. Uh, this is what we do as, at Prospects Home and Commercial Inspections. We inspect uh, not just resale properties that are being resold, we also inspect new construction, uh, framing inspections is one of the things that we do on a very frequent